Hey everyone, so a lot of people are obviously looking at what's going on in Israel and the region and uh, hoping that it's not, things are not going to expand to a, a much broader conflict. So Israel is trying to figure out what is going to be the best route of action going forward, being that they're being attacked by Hezbollah in the north now, uh, as they have been throughout the course of the year, but now things seem to be getting uh, more and more intense. Uh, check out this clip from Pierce Morgan, a, a debate on Pierce Morgan show that really kind of lays out the case of why Israel is 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 like what what is what else is Israel supposed to do? Check this out. Israel's killing of civilians and the war crimes it is committing in Gaza and in Lebanon. Now. Well, let me ask Alec Lebon. I condemn everything that has been caused by the jihadists. And this is not my opinion. This is based on causal reasoning. You kidnap people and you take them to a different place. What other option does a sovereign nation have but to return its citizens? And when the jihadists bury themselves wherever they are, whether they're in Lebanon, whether they're in Gaza, whether they're in Iran, whether they're in Syria, they are making the people of that nation, the people they are burying themselves amongst, vulnerable to being killed in this way. So yes, I absolutely condemn those deaths and I absolutely blame the jihadists for that. And first of all, to go back to this claim that Hezbollah never started this war, from the 8th of October, okay, started la launching by this point, over 11,000 rockets into Israel. 96,000 people in Northern Israel have been displaced. 10% of Israel's land mass has been depopulated. Civilians are out of their homes. Children are out of their schools. In the final instance, where there is a precision strike on Hezbollah terrorists, why did they do that? Because the commanders, the leaders of Hezbollah, had a plan to attack Northern Galilee and do a second October 7th, kidnap hostages with a ground invasion. Now you tell me, what should Israel do? Just bend over and keep accepting it? None of these things are acceptable to you people. Targeted strikes, unacceptable. Pages, unacceptable. What is acceptable to stop these terrorists from persistently and belligerently attacking Israel? And to make the claim, first of all, to make the claim that they are doing this on behalf of the Palestinians is absolutely outrageous. You want to say that, oh, we're fighting for the, the Palestinians because of uh, the occupation in this oppressive military state. What about Hezbollah's oppressive military state? What about Hezbollah's state within a state that has undermined Lebanon sovereignty? What about the fact that Hezbollah goes to Syria and massacres people on behalf of Assad? What about the fact that Hezbollah goes to Iran and massacres, rapes innocent Iranians? So why don't we just say that everything that Israel's doing is in behalf of the innocent Iranians, the innocent Syrians and the innocent Lebanese? You know why you don't say that? Because it sounds absolutely ridiculous. It is a red herring. It is a red herring to claim that Hezbollah is acting on behalf of Palestinians when what they're doing is exactly what they said in their charter, which the Islamic Republic created them from for which is to create a second Islamic Republic in Lebanon and to destroy Israel. That is their goals. It is time to be honest about that. Yeah, as it turns out, when you attack people and you consistently uh, are throwing rockets in their direction, they need to stop that problem from happening. This is absolutely correct.